Hi, welcome to another video where I'm gonna show you how I make this jacket. It's the Nino jacket by Fabric Store. It's a free pattern, you can download it in the description below. There's also a blog from them that describes everything in detail. So it's not really like a tutorial, it's more like a sew along and just see how I make this and how, um, what kind of decisions I made. Spoiler alert, not very good ones, but you know, whatever. Um, just a few things before you start. I made this one out of an old curtain because I like to do that. I really like the fabric. But as you can see, it's a bit more stiff and a bit more boxy when you use a thicker fabric. So I would suggest like listen to the tutorial. Like they say, use a linen or maybe a cotton blend, something a bit more uh, softer. I think you could also use like maybe a wool blend. I think that would be great as well, but maybe a little bit more difficult for beginners. So if you're a beginner, I would suggest like maybe getting an old bed sheet from the thrift store or whatever. Um, I mean, it's a free pattern. So this is a great start at making your own garments. And I think you will really enjoy it. And it's, it's a challenge if you're new to this, but it's a good one. It's not too difficult, it's doable, and I am sure you can do it. I can, and you can as well. One more thing is that in my previous mix, I've made this jacket twice. I didn't cut up the back. I just made an, um, I just folded the fabric and cut it out in one piece. I would recommend that honestly, um, because well, in this case, I'm gonna talk all about this in the end. What I thought of the process, but um, it's easier if you do it that way, and I think it's doable. So if you're really new to that, I would just suggest to cut out the back in just uh, one piece. And if you don't, that's also fine. Uh, you can just try out a flat felt seam. This was my first, so, you know, anyway. <laughs> Long story short, let's go ahead.
Okay, so I just put it on. Um, it's of course not nearly finished yet, but it is put together. Um, I made a size smaller than I did last time. And it's better here, but it's a little tight here. I still need to like iron this out. Um, it's a very difficult fabric to iron. It, it's glued onto my iron right now, the fabric that is. But I think it's cute. Um, when I made this, when I just sew this together, I just realized maybe I like this kind even better. So um, what I think I'm gonna do is when I make the color, I think I'm gonna make color um, with this color, like it could be a nice contrast. I think that would be look really nice. That wasn't the original plan, but honestly, I think. I think I like this side better. <laughs> and I think this could look very nice like this. Yeah. Okay, so a little update where I am now. Um having a bit of a trouble with this fabric. It's really annoying. It's spraying a lot at the edges and coming loose and um, it's impossible to iron. I need to iron it with, with a towel. Just really annoying because I really cannot see anything. So I've been to color, and here I still ironed it, and on this side I gave up. <laughs> so I hope it will turn out um, okay because I have got the color in two parts. I have hopefully lined it up with the seam here. I hope that's gonna work out because that never does for me. <laughs> um, the reason why I did that, because it's not supposed to be like that, is because I ha I'm having a print and when I just left the color one piece, then one side would be upside down. So that's why I cut it in half and then just twisted it and sewn it together. So now I'm just gonna do these. And also, also interesting is that I use some sort of like a, a double hem <laughs> on this one. So it, attaching and like finishing up the color like here is going to be interesting is because it's going to be really really thick i'm not really very hopeful anymore but um let's just see So, it's the next day, it's done. Um, I hope you can see it clearly. It's, it's been a few very gloomy days and um, it's not going to be any better. So I'm just gonna film. This is the end result. I am fairly happy with it. Not everything turned out great, but first I will do a little spin around so you can see. Okay, so first of all, um, I made this one last year. It was one of my first things that I sewed. So I thought it would be easier to make it right now. Um, it did it was a lot easier, but the fabric was really annoying. It's really fraying really badly, which you can see, I think, here. 
I will, I hope, the focus. Um, these are the moments that I really miss, like having an, a surger, an overlocker surger, whatever you call it. Um, and it was really hard to sew. So that's one thing. Another thing was that you couldn't properly iron it. So, for example, the color. This is the side that I could iron. And it took me so much time, so after that I gave up and you can you can really see that because I just couldn't make the um, stitch more into this side. Um, I think you're supposed to stitch in the ditch, like here, but that was too complicated for me. I couldn't do it because it would have to be so precise and I know I'm just not up for that, so okay, but if you are like good good for you um, but I don't think you have to another thing that I'm thinking about is the hemming I had to do some double stitching because uh, my back was a little short like around a little shorter than the front so I had to hem the front again so it's very thick and especially here and I think this why it's a little pointy and the back as well I also think the tension on my machine might have been a little bit too tight like that's why it's sometimes a little uh, like this a little, little stiff anyway another thing I don't like is the other ones that I made I just left the bag as it is because in the pattern you have to cut it into sizes and then sew it together with um, I think a flat felt, flat felt seam I think it's called my first time trying it on this one it was fairly easy but honestly I wouldn't go for the, all the trouble and just got this in one piece it's very easy it might be a little bit wider but it's very noticeable so I'm honestly I would just do that and just cut the back on the fold so you'll just have it in one piece it makes it even easier but overall I think I like it and um, I wasn't planning on using the contrasting color of the back side as, as a color but I've grown to really like it when I worked on it. I think I even liked the lighter side better and um, so I'm really happy to use it as a contrasting color in the color collar, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean. So yeah, overall I think a 7 out of 10, maybe? Just not a few things. If you're going to do this and you're a total beginner, I would recommend you to not do this in one day. That was always my biggest mistake when I started out sewing last year. Um, and just got so frustrated because it has to be done in one day and it's no fun that way. I did this one in one day, but uh, after a year, and I have sewn it quite a few times, I'm a bit more experienced, so it's not too bad, because you can easily make this in a day. I would just suggest starting out with getting the pattern and copy and paste, cut and paste, that together, <laughs> and then cut out the fabrics, and then for the next day, just start sewing, and maybe just finish it even a day later, like please take it easy it will be so much more fun this is super easy it's very doable um, because I used a curtain I think it's a little more stiff than it should be so I would maybe go for a cotton or linen a little bit more lighter fabric than this one because you can see it's, it's a little stiff around in the neck as well I don't mind I like that kind of thing I like it to be a bit more boxy bulky I guess I like that look but it can be a little bit too much for your taste and then I would suggest a different kind of fabric a little bit more sop supple a little bit more soft, uh, thinner you know anyway, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time bye